up YouTube and welcome to California Beer Reviews. Today we're going to look at Green Flash Imperial IPA. It is 9% alcohol and 101 IBUs as you can see there. So yeah, let's get on with the pour already. See what we have in store with this beer. Pretty expensive at, I think it's um, $5.99 this bottle right here and then I seen some that went up to about $7.99, $8.99 so kind of on the pricey side um, right away I can smell those hops coming in but let's check out the color and everything as you see we got a very bronzy looking color there almost like a, a brown or kind of maple color we got a very thick foamy head as you can see there very foamy I'm already smelling the hops already not even putting it up to my nose so let's go for the smell smell sweet hops not bitter hops sweet hops almost smell like a candy taste or maybe a little of a floral taste coming in and also you get a, somewhat of a smell of a freshly mowed lawn coming in through. It's actually kind of interesting how this one smells compared to a lot of other IPAs I had. This is my first Imperial IPA. So take what I got to say with a grain of salt. This is my first time. But yeah, let's get on with that taste. Woo. Really strong. The hops are really strong in there. It's like um, an IPA on steroids. Um, maybe tasting a very small hint of caramel. Get the sweet taste. Almost like I was saying, something sugary, something sweet. Not, not artificial though, don't get me wrong. It does not taste like anything that you'd find um, in a wine cooler. This tastes like a beer, 100%. It's an excellent beer from what I'm tasting so far. It kind of, you kind of have an alcoholic burn going down. You feel burn go down as you swallow. But yeah, faint sweetness. You get a faint grassy taste. Then you get the bitter hops in the back, which is really strong. And then you got that alcoholic burn as it goes down. But I guess that would be present given that it's 9% um, alcohol. Yeah, really good. Um, let's see. As I sip on it some more, I tend, it seems like I'm getting more acquainted with the beer. It, te it seems to kind of balance out in my mouth. So let's see if I can taste anything else. I'm getting some almost like a caramel flavor coming through kind of like a natural caramel with still a sweet taste that I can't really put my finger on it in a way it's almost like it's floral kind of like smelling flowers how uh, some flowers have a really sweet smell it's kind of what I'm getting here let's pour a little more just kind of stimulate the beer a little I get stronger smells, kind of go together with the taste, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to be as thorough about this beer as possible to you guys. So, Yeah, very sweet. Mild malt. I'm tasting no grain whatsoever. I don't think there's even any grain made with this, but if there is, I'm sorry if I got that wrong but I'm not tasting it just mainly tasting hops all the way yeah. this is definitely a hop heads beer even says king of the mountain of the hops which is oh king of the mountain in the hops yeah the, uh, that's pretty interesting see that right there they have a whole little story going on. It's pretty interesting. 
I like the I like the design. It's very plain and simple. It has a best buy date of nine uh, December 9th, 2015, if you can see there. So I guess this beer can stay on the shelf for quite a while. Because a lot of beers they usually only have a shelf life of about three months. That's a good well over three months, so Yeah, it's beginning to taste. It's beginning to have more of floral taste as I drink some more of it. Pretty interesting. But I guess I would have to go for the rating now. I think for the rating, I would have to give it a a four point five out of five. It's an excellent tasting beer. Very interesting. I never had anything that's like it. I plan on doing some more of these green flash beers in the future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, they talk about hops all over this bottle as you can see here. Hops, hops, yeah, it's all over this. So when you go to green flash, just the name alone should tell you it's all about the hops. So if you're a hop head, hop chaser, or you're just in craft beer in general, this is the beer for you. Definitely not a beer to drink on a hot summer day. Mostly a beer that you want to sip on, enjoy with your friends. A beer that needs to be complimented in a glass and not in a bottle. And also, actually they even said that on the caps, so put it in a glass. And also this beer, it's not a beer you'd want to drink and then dry right after or do anything that involves tedious work because at 9% alcohol I don't know about you guys out there but this beer would definitely put me on my butt so till next time YouTube because I don't really have else to say about it it's a great beer just check it out thanks for watching